Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. So listen, right? So when we get on the podcast, the whole question is, they want me to understand it. And I'm saying it's illogical. It's immoral. It don't make sense. How can you understand something like killing your own kind? So I, my question to him is, I'm not talking to you if you're not in it. But if you keep putting yourself in it with the butts. You keep putting yourself in it with the butts. So I, so he make a test and so you against me? I say, yeah, I'm against you if you still gang banging. Yeah, I heard that. His statement was, you or nobody else can get me to go back to being like my old ways. You can't trick me to go back to being how I used to be. In 19 years, I ain't never screamed Ma, Paru, blood, and such, such. And within two minutes. So everybody know on the podcast, I might jump up and throw my hands up. I got tired of him saying as if I'm a kid. If I was still gangbanging, me and you would be fighting. You trying to bully me, homie. You niggas really think y'all some bullies. Yeah, trust me, I'll put my, you won't do a motherfucking thing to me, nigga. You steady gonna keep talking to me like, you, man, come on, man, you got me, come on, you really gonna keep, you, if I was gangbanging. Nah, homie, nah, you can't. I keep a gun on me so niggas like you won't do what you think you can do to me, nigga, and you, did, and you didn't do it, right? So. He telling me, he telling me if I was still screaming Pyro, in my mind, you still screaming it. It's in your heart, nigga. So I'm for to show these people. We on national stage. I got judges. I got politicians. I got all these people watch my podcast. I'm for to show them that you niggas ain't worth it. You still gang banging. And they need to keep y'all locked up longer. It can't, you, 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 so... I kept pushing that button. I kept pushing that button. I seen that. I kept pushing that button. So when he made that statement and said, if I was still screaming Pyro, me and you would be fighting. Man, y'all really think y'all better than us, homie. For you to tell, for you to sit up and say that. So when I stand up and say that, it tricked him. Now he want to stand up. Now we nose to nose, forehead to forehead, lip to lip. Now I done got the people to see what they needed to see, nigga. Say you want it from Mob James Pyru blood. And I quickly told him, so you still with it then, huh, James? <laughs> Ooh, I say, look at this. Ooh, look at this sucker. He fell for the bait. He draped in the colors. Look how Satan operate. Satan is the master of deception. Mm. Look at this 50 year old man trying to deceive the world. He done killed and robbed and beat people in the name of Mob James Pyru and he stood up and confessed it with his mouth cause it's still in his heart. What's in your heart don't come out of your mouth. I don't care how long that devil lay dormant. It's still there. Yeah. It ain't been removed. That's why you drove from California to Texas 20 hours with a gun. As a convicted felon with a grand, you a granddaddy, right? Yeah. I wouldn't dare do no such thing. And I got to go back home to the babies. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.